interestingly, our immune systems can respond to almost any structure that the outside world throws it. Uh, any protein, any bug, anything, any foreign substance. That posed a paradox a long time ago. Uh, it was estimated by workers uh, in the field early on that we could make upwards of a billion different antibodies. We don't have that much DNA to encode a billion antibodies. We only have a few billion letters of DNA code in our entire genomes, and that's going to do all the work. So it was obvious early on that there was, there had to be some special way that genome encoded, that is specified, uh, those uh, uh, special immune receptors called antibodies. And it turned out uh, that uh, uh, there are two general ways the immune system does this. One way is uh, to um, uh, split the genes that make antibodies into three uh, banks or so for each antibody chain. And the way the system works is very much like the way a slot machine works. So if you go to the slots, you pull the lever, there are three registers, and you might have fruits or numbers or whatever, cards, and the idea is to match them up. Uh, but there are many, many different combinations that can be made because there are many elements on each of the wheels on the slot machine. And that's the reason the house almost always wins, because for you to get the right combination is rare. That's because there are so many possible combinations. The same is true with the immune system. There are many, many different possible combinations that can be made by shuffling these little bits of DNA and stitching them together in meaningful ways to make antibodies.